What's up everybody? We are doing a durability test on our CZ Mods Rock Lights. And we might test some other products, but ultimately when it comes down to it, this is mainly seeing how much these babies can handle. I'm going to say we won't stop until we break one, but we're not going to stop until we break one. So, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> so normally the first thing we like to do when we buy a set of Rock Lights to test durability is the old two-point test. Not talking three yet, that's later. So the two point test is you take one of your rock lights and imagine it's a basketball and you go for the goal. You then you actually do a look instead of the no look. I'm no Steph Curry. That's right, two points right there. We're gonna dig those lights out. I think they're under the golf cart and show you what they look like. All right, so quick inspection. Still in that killer condition. Some minor scratches on the black part, but overall, still just fine. Let's move on to the next test. All right, now we are going to do the ping pong test to the rock lights. So you get one tossed to you. This one requires an assistant. I have a breath here ready to throw me one. And you spike it into the ground and see how much it can handle. Bring it. All right, check her out. Got good little nick there on the side from slamming down, but look at the face. Still in pretty great condition. Next test. Well, welcome to the CZ Mods restroom. Anyways, um, we've done a few tests. Time to see if the light still comes on and how it's held up after the beating so far. I will say don't hook it up to more than 12 volts for an extended period of time because they do get hot. This was just for a test, so we're using the old Milwaukee battery, obviously. Works great, um, but what happens if you, you know, have a rainstorm and there's a puddle or two? Time to find out. This is called the toilet dunk. See a couple little bubbles, but I think that just fill it up. Just one little swirly. <laughs> nope, no quality. Don't worry, yours will be pretty clean before we send them out, but I guess time for the next test. This is the golf cart test. And let's see what we get to here. 27, the 27 mile per hour golf cart test. We're gonna throw a rock light under there, drop the jack, see what she does. All right, put these in here for safety, right there about where that drops. All right, other side. Whoops. Put this one under here. Right in position, that, that should do. All right, let's see if they can handle it. You're ready, I'm good. We got one burnout mark on this one. You can get come. I don't know if you'll see it on yeah, camera or not. Yeah, I see it. But uh, just check them both after that <laughs> 27 mile an hour sling into your phone and that wall. They're still doing great. So we got to start getting more extreme. Time to go test them again. So logically, we have the golf cart because we enjoy froth, which is frisbee golf. But we're you know running low on frisbees these days, so might as well see how the rock lights work for it. So we're going to see if I could hit anything, and then how much these can handle. So, you ready? Yep. <laughs> oh, well, I missed, but it hit the piece of trim, so that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, hole in one. Hmm. Back's a little scratched, but heck, that's nothing. This one took the real brunt. It's still looking good. I mean, obviously starting to show a little wear because it's been through some stuff, but overall, I think we're still good to go. Got a nice deep slide on it with the golf cart. That's uh, nothing that won't typically happen, you know, when you got them on your truck. So still working pretty good. Alright, Well, we're outside at CZ Boss Incorporated here, and we're going to do a test on throwing these things about as high as they can, let them hit, see what they do. So, here we go. That's pretty cool. One more. Yeah. Beautiful condition there. A little scarred up on the back. 
after these beatings, they've broke off a couple of those screws that hold this plate on, so it's a little bit loose, but it still comes on and works. We just tested a second ago. This one landed on its face. You can see all the scar marks on the front of it, but yet that is still good to go. So more tests coming your way. Well, the gravel wasn't quite enough for us, even though they are rock lights. To get it. We're going to turn them into pavement lights real quick and see if they can handle this beating. Oh, I missed. Nope, I got it. Oh! And it broke. There's that screw trouble we were talking about. I think it broke off the screws and the cover came off. So we'll take this inside and test it like this and see what it looks like. Let's see if the baby still comes on. All right, so we're inside for the test. Ultimately, this is just the aluminum body that sits over these to protect them. And then they're fully sealed around the whole thing. So I honestly have no doubt that is not going to come on and work, but we'd like to show you guys. So, let's see here. Yep, there you go. Working, fully functioning, all the diodes still on. Still really tough, so means we're not done. All right, we got a AAA hitter, Cole Hughes, behind the bat. <laughs> he's uh, had one in his hand a time or two. Even though that's just T-ball, don't let that fool you. Uh, so he's going to be our batter, I'm going to be the pitcher. No curveballs today, but we're going to slap these babies with that bat and see what they can handle. That was the suckiest hit ever. Hit I off. was scared. You're not gonna hurt me. Dang it. That sounded pretty good. Got a good contact. All right. Let's see. Broken screws on the back from the impact, because they're just little guys that hold them on. This one looks like it was bent like that and he hit it and pinched that wire. So it looks like our our hot is holding on by 50% of the copper there. This one looks fine, so we can test it real quick. And see, this is the one with the jacked up wire, so if it's gonna have any issues, it's more likely to be this one than the other. Let's see here. Oh, come on. And there she is. Still working just fine. So, I guess now, I'm running out of ideas, so I'm considering a hammer. Yeah. Or a wrench or something. Seeing how tough these babies can really be. Let's see what we want to get out today. Regular claw hammer. <laughs> Monkey wrench. <laughs> Thing's really heavy. There's gotta be something better than that. There we go. Mr. Mall Mall. Let's give him a few taps and see what we got. Alright. Safety first. But we got these glasses out. So let's start with just a regular claw hammer. How hard do you guys want me to hit? This is gonna be like the first hit, the second hit. The third hit. I don't Whew. know if that sounded much harder on camera, but I was hitting it harder each time. So let's see what happens. First hit, second hit, third hit. All right, that's well, definitely bent the aluminum bracket around it, which would bend back straight and you could put it back together, but because those screws were out, like we said, that causes an issue. Um, I guess it makes more sense to go test this before we move on. Otherwise, you don't really know at what point it broke. So let me grab a battery real quick. All right, here goes the test after just getting hit with the regular claw hammer, which you typically find on the interstate hitting your rock lights. So that's why we needed to test it. Still comes on, works like a charm. Sounds good. So that one passed the test. Set that aside now. And this weighs about twice what this weighs. So We'll hit it a couple times with this. Something like that. That's, that's pretty stinking hard. That's pretty hard. Uh, I, think, I think it'll break. Ooh, dang. So obviously bending the aluminum bracket more. But overall, I don't think it broke anything else. Let's see. <clears throat> Yep, 
Still working <laughs> like a charm. That's amazing. All right, we're impressing ourselves here. So here goes. Uh, <laughs> this thing's heavy. <laughs> like that's gonna break the concrete stuff. So I'll give it two hits and we'll test it. One, <laughs> two. <laughs> so the other two small screws obviously broke off of the other side. That's all that holds the plate over it for protection. So it's not like there's strength there. But looking at the rest, I mean, you see some scar marks, but it's tough stuff. And this was already there, scarred up from our bat hit earlier. So let's see if it handled that. And we're running out of ideas, because that's... Uh-oh. I think we broke it. Oh, I can't get this in here anyway. Give me a second. Yeah, she uh, she broke. So, I don't know if it's this connection here. Seems like those wires are still touching. Um, so yeah, probably broke one of the chips in the plate. There's chips that run along the top that power your LED strip. So I would say it broke one of those with one of those hits, but. Ultimately, I think we found out what we wanted to find out here that these things are really really tough your truck will never put them through that kind of a beating so That's that's what we wanted to do was see what they could really handle instead of selling you guys something that's supposed to be the best without Seeing if it's really worth anything. So our impression is still these things are crazy tough. So if you want some pick them up um, We're gonna get these Thrown away and send you new ones so that way you don't have to have ones that have been damaged like this, but the test has proved itself. So go to czmods.com. Rock lights, super tough. We also have wheel ring lights, color changing. We have regular quadro. We have octoro. We have all kinds of stuff, and we'll do our best to make you guys happy with what you order. So get on there and get yourself some.